All right, so a uh, couple of nights ago, a bunch of us, we came to this spot. It's like 100 yards from our base camp. And we were trying to observe fireflies in the woods all across that area. And from the camp till here, we use flashlights to uh, see where we're going. But when we were here and we were observing the fireflies, we had to shut it off. We're like five people standing really, rather really close and with no sense of what is around us in the environment. And at some point, everyone started shuffling a little bit with their hands and like sensing the environment with the use of hands and legs. But that was not the most optimum way to do it. And as you would imagine, like we started bumping into each other because it was completely pitch black. And even these trees you will see, so we will we'll come really close or bump against these trees. Luckily, nobody got injured. But that made me think that what will happen if you are in a scenario where you have to hike and you are out of flashlight or some kind of power and you do not have any light source but you have to traverse some distance at night. So um, I was working with Matt on this project. Uh, it's like a small wearable headband and it has an ultrasonic distance sensor which triggers a uh, pulse and then receives it back. It's like echolocation, uh, what bats use for their navigation. So uh, I created this headband, which you can, while you're uh, walking in the dark, you can just put on your head. And there is a button here. Yeah, so all it does is constantly send out signals, uh, ultrasonic boost, and receives it back. And if you are nearing an object, then this frequency of buzzing will increase. This will help you understand your, uh, your environment a little better. Right now, uh, because we are out here, we don't have all the libraries, so it's not functioning properly. But that's uh, the first thing we have to do when we get back, run it on the right uh, library. And the idea is if you come fairly close, then there will be another small LED. And if you are like almost in the hitting range of an object, like six to 10 inches, that LED will turn on. So you can just have a look where you are, find your bearings and reposition yourself. The future things which uh, Matt and I discussed, what we can do is of course improve and change the library then I want to explore a little more on form factor because uh, the vision of this sensor is only 30 degrees. So it might be a good idea to have more of them uh, or two of them or something which is mounted around your ear so you can find if an object, if an object is on your right or your left and um, explore some other portions of your body, probably put it on your, on your feet so you can scan things on the ground, put on your head so you can scan things around and improve the software part of it so it becomes more efficient.